Awesome. We're super excited to have you here inside the Chemical Guys Detail Garage, not only to welcome you to the Chemical Guys family, but tell you a little bit about what makes us such a magical brand. And that's you, our tremendous customer. This is the first time we've gone live, so stay tuned for really exciting things from our tremendous team and some things that we've had specially planned just for you. Now to tie this all together as you look around, you'll notice our Detail Garage setting. From day one, it's all about connecting with you, our customers, and making it the most tremendous all-inclusive brand across the globe. Whether you've connected with us at one of our millions of retail locations, checked out some of our products online, been able to visit us on social media, or participate in any one of our awesome events that we've had, such as our rides and coffee, or all the amazing events we have with our Detail Garage locations like this. And here today, I'm super excited to tell you about some of the great new products we have from Chemical Guys, as well as all kinds of cool new things to bring you closer to becoming part of the Chemical Guys family. At Chemical Guys, it's all about finding your passion and making it shine, which is what makes it so exciting for us to see not only the great videos and content you've shared on social media, but tell you a little bit about some of the exciting stuff we have planned for you in the future. Exciting stuff like our Hydro line. Our Hydro line has been tremendous over the last year, but we've continuously added great new products to the Hydro line to make it easier than ever before to protect your investments and make ceramic easy for everybody. On top of that, we've also introduced new innovations, such as our Torque Big Mouth Foam Cannon. And I'm learning how to catch just for this live video. <laughs> Our Torque Big Mouth Foam Cannon completely changed the playing field by introducing you one of the largest foaming cannons available on the market, not only to the fun of foaming, but the speed and ability to take your fun and your passion to the next level by releasing mounds of suds and also custom tailoring the Torque Foam Blaster Big Mouth to any unique foam soap that you choose from the Chemical Guys arsenal. If you wanted a ceramic, go with our Hydro Suds, or if you just love mounds and mounds and suds, our Honeydew Snow Foam is tremendous. It makes foaming fun and easy, and it also makes finishing any job exciting. This is where I throw the other one again, ha! <laughs> Dude, I'm getting better and better catching every <laughs> single day. I know that sounds weird. Our Torque Flown Blaster is really, really exciting, but what's really exciting about it is once you've already released the suds, it's about rinsing them off of your car and getting a nice dry effect when you're drying your vehicle, which is why I'm so excited to introduce you to our Pro Blow. Our Pro Blow really takes drying to the next level. It makes it fun, fast, and easy to get water out of the crevices while also making drying super, super fun for anybody. It has a rubber nozzle so you don't mark anything. It's made of plastic so it's durable and heavy duty and sturdy and it makes drying faster and funner than ever before. Now this is just one of our many, that was a great catch, <laughs> this is one of our many great innovations that I'm going to tell you about right now. We have so much more coming your way. And before I get too excited about too much stuff, I'm going to pass you on to John Mansfield, who will tell you about what we have going on in the stores for you and online. Right. And like Paul said, this is about connecting with you. Chemical Guys is a family. And for us, we always are trying to figure out new ways to help connect with you out as you're using our products and finding your passion and making it shine. Whether it's like with Paul mentioned, one of our amazing retail partners, Amazon, Walmart, AutoZone, Advance, or in one of our detail garages or even on our website, we're constantly trying to figure out better ways to improve the experience with you. Two of them I want to talk about in particular is one, our detail garage. We're currently at over 75 locations across the U.S. and Canada with recent openings in Spring, Texas, Tucson, Arizona, and Calexico, California, and even more to come in, the, in 2022. The next one is our website. Chemicalguys.com is the destination for Chemical Guys, and we've been working to make it better for you. Some recent additions we've just added are one, our subscribe, shine, and save program, where you can subscribe automatically to your favorite Chemical Guys products and get a great discount in the process. The next evolution we're bringing to the website is My Garage, where you can load your ride into our website so we can provide awesome recommendations for products and even build in a loyalty program down the road. These are just a few of the enhancements we're making to ChemicalGuys.com and Detail Garage to make the experience better for you. So we're so excited to have you here today on our first live. We are going to go live again tomorrow at noon Pacific time. We are going to do a race to shine today. We're going to show you new products. We have some freebies just for you guys that are tuning in and some exclusive previews to our new products. So stay to the end because you're going to get those freebies and we're going to give you some more details on the new products. So let's get over to Jason for that race to shine. Thanks so much, Jen, and welcome to Chemical Guys Live, the first ever. I am joined here with none other than the man with the know-how, the guy with the silky smooth voice, Nick. Thanks so much, Jason, and also thank all of you guys so much for tuning in for our very first live event. And speaking of all of you guys, you guys are the family that holds us all together. 
because Chemical Guy is more than a brand. We're a family of detailers and guys that share the same passion for shine. So be sure to drop your comments down for any kind of questions you have or anything that's going on through the video that you guys want to know about. Yeah, exactly. Tell us where you're coming from. Where are you watching from? Drop your city down in the comments below. Uh, while Jen is getting ready and changed for the competition, she'll be answering some Q&A from you guys throughout this. Um, we're really excited to introduce a competition style game show today. It's the exciting. race for shine. Yes. The race for shine. So right now we're going to get a poll going up um, because you guys are heavily influencing the outcome of this game. So we want you to be participating. And if you stay through through the end of this broadcast, you're going to get some special stuff at the end. There's going to be some uh, little rewards for exactly. those that So be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video. Absolutely. So right now we're going to put up, put up a poll, contestant one and contestant two. We're going we're gonna to announce them later. But right now it's kind of like a coin flip. So pick who you want to start first. Is it contestant one or contestant two? And we'll figure out who actually starts. Exactly. Who could it be? Who could it be? So while that's going on, we're going to explain the game. We've got a Tesla out in the wash bay. And it is split down the middle with um, some masking tape. It's a 50-50. We're going to have two contestants. One is going to get one half of the car. The other is going to get the other half of the car. And they're going to have to detail this ride uh, from start to finish. Basically, who can do it the fastest and who can shine it up the best, right? Exactly. Get looking its best in the shortest amount of time while also using the best technique. Now, the contestants have already seen the vehicle, so they know what to expect. But they need to pick the right products for the job. That's right. And you guys will be a big part of voting for this as well. So really excited to get this started. So... Now that the poll has been up, are we, are we getting any, uh, have we gotten any results on this poll? Anybody picking some stuff or possibly? We'll find out in a minute. But until then, uh, how are you guys doing? Put some emojis down in the comments. Let's see what's going on here. And what's going on your guys' Tuesday? It's a, it's a pretty good Tuesday here for us. It's Tune in for the detailing. Sunny Los Angeles here in Detail Garage. Speaking of which, we're in the Detail Garage. If you guys have never been to a Detail Garage, they're pretty epic, and there might be one near you. We've got over 80 stores, so exactly. across the U.S. You're looking for the best products and also some product knowledge to drop by your yeah. local detail garage. We're live in Los Angeles. We've got sirens. We're getting excited. Here we go. So contestant one looks like it, that person started, and we'll introduce you to the contestants right now. So if my buddy uh, Bruce Buffer is watching, here we go. It's shine. Let's shine. All right, contestant one standing at. Five foot, 10 inches, 165 pounds, soaking wet with boots on and a woolly mammoth robe. He is the Mamalona himself, the shingle cab of shine. It's Henry. Henry, what's up guys? I'm contestant number one. Make sure to drop team Henry down below because contestant number two does not know what's coming for him. That's right. And speaking of contestant number two, this guy stands at five foot, 8.3275 <laughs> inches, 150 pounds, and he is the governor of Shine Town. I didn't even know that was a real place. <laughs> Look it up. The workhorse towel warrior and the Captain Clean Kangaroo, it's Joey. What up, guys? Team Joey all the way. Thank you guys for joining us. You guys already know that Team Joey's gonna take this. Henry, sorry, but you're gonna lose today, man. Vote Team Joey. <laughs> wow, so the trash talking starts already. Contestant one who won is actually Joey. So we're gonna get him started this portion of the show is brought to you by the quick load carrying caddy that's right now phase one of this contestants are gonna have 30 seconds to run through the detail garage and pick up all they need for their detail the chemicals only they're gonna get accessories all these awesome accessories that we've come out with this year um, they'll have those set up so it's fair they each have access to that right yeah save some time and effort here so we got the quick load quick load carry so in this phase, we're going to toss this over to Joey, and he's going to get started with his 30 seconds as soon as he gets it, and we'll see what he picks up. So, are you ready, Joey? I am super ready. In three, two, oh. Bam, perfect throw. And he's off. Oh, he's he's behind us. Past you. Get some oh, works. <laughs> some signature series. Can't forget right, that VRP. Series. So, what's what the strategy else? here, Nick? Well, they need to go through the entire store and grab products that are going to detail that Tesla outside, but they need to start from top to bottom, or rather the wheels to the wash, but they need a car wash soap, they need a wheel cleaner, and also some form of protection. Right. So they're going to go through all the products and choose their favorites and also what they believe is going to be the best. After wash, looks like he's anticipating a little drying action there. Nice. And Joey's off. He's done. Wow, look at that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Plenty of time on the clock. Plenty of time on the clock. So I'm I don't ready. know how Henry feels about this. How do you feel, Henry? You feel like you're prepared or what? I was born prepared. Born I'm prepared. ready, I'm ready. I saw what he picked. 
I think I'm gonna take a different route. Yeah, so now, I mean, whoever goes first doesn't necessarily have the advantage because the second person knows what they got. Exactly, so yeah. We'll see what goes on here. All right, Henry. I'm ready. We're gonna set you up with your quick okay. load carrying caddy in three, two. All right, stop number one. I'm Joey Number Wynn one. signature so series wheel cleaner. Coming up behind us I'll here. Go with Diablo. Going with Diablo wheel gel, pH balance cleaner. I'll go with it's great for cleaning. Blue Garden wheel with water tires. base. Okay. Going with an oil base. Uh, he did go with nonsense. I'm Extra gonna... shine. That's what he's looking for. Gloss Clean. overall. And I'll make nice. it simple. I'm going to go with ceramic. Okay. Ceramic Hydro King view. over here. Hydro speed and hydro sides. Nice. Let's go. All right. Awesome. So while these guys go set up their stations, Basically, we're gonna explain the rules of the game here. There's gonna be a couple different phases here. So phase one, we just completed, which right. is select your products, check out the car. They already looked at the car and you know, inspected it. Right? Yeah, they got a, an overall idea of what they need to do. And now we're gonna move on to phase two, which phase is going two. to be the wash process. But with any detail, you wanna start with the dirtiest area, and that's always gonna be your wheels because brake dust, road grime, road kill, and all kinds of filth collect on your tires as well as your wheels. And if you were to say wash those first, or last, I should say, it would be bringing all that kind of grime to the vehicle that you've already washed and dried. So that's why we start with the wheels and then we're gonna move on to the wash process. Exactly. And so with the wash, uh, these guys are gonna also go for speed here. And you will vote at the end who did the better job. We, we'll know who finished first because it'll just finish first. Exactly, but, but there's also technique, you know, absolutely. all that goes along with it. You gotta do it the proper way. We yeah. don't want any scratching and swirling happening. So they're all gonna have dirt traps and buckets and everything set up for them. Um, who do you guys think is gonna win? Why don't you drop down in the comments below? Do you think it's Henry? Do you think it's Joey? Let, hey, us, let us know. You guys seen them in videos and also all kinds of IG stories. So judging by their techniques and also their style, who could win? Live is a whole nother ball game though. So we'll <laughs> see, there could be some trip ups. But anyway, after that phase, we're gonna rinse the car down. We're gonna take a five minute break so that it's fair. So we'll know who won round one. Yeah. Um, we'll rinse the entire vehicle and we'll take Q&A from you guys, so be prepared for that. Yes, also drop your comments down below for anything you guys have questions about or anything else you guys wanna talk about. Yeah, exactly. And then after that, we're gonna have another phase at the end where they're gonna dry and then they're gonna protect the car. So at that point, we'll see who wins and the loser's gonna get a little gift of their own at the end and that'll be a surprise for you guys. So we're all set up over at the car and it looks like Joey's already started, so he's already cheating. He set up his, he already started working on the wheel. He didn't even wait for our go ahead, so. <laughs> he was too excited, he's ready to do excited. this. Too excited, so I, it looks he like Henry's uh, following suit here. Um, Joey's using the red rocket. It's a great wheel brush. Uh, I'm liking the technique that goes all the way to the back of the barrel of the wheel. I'm not sure if he started at the top and is working his way around, but. Of course, start at the top, Nick. I think I am a newbie. Hey, I was once a newbie. I don't know if anyone saw that series, but I definitely started at the bottom and worked my way up to the top. That's kind of <laughs> Literally. Hey, Joey, so, slow down. Huh? Remember, no, it's, it's a competition, Patience Henry. Sorry, you're going key. down. Patience is key, okay? Henry is Just using... check out these premium studs right here. Henry, right? what are you using for the wheels over there? I went with Diablo wheel gel. Diablo wheel gel works on all types of wheels. Me, personally, I don't know what was behind this, the uh, cover on this wheel. This is why I went with Diablo wheel gel. It's not a headache, simple pH balance. I add one or two ounces inside here and just check out this foam. Premium suds, That's awesome. not scratching the surface. And I'm using the rim pack em. The rim pack is helping me get into the barrel of these wheels because honestly, I don't know when was the last time this owner cleaned this car. Just check out how filthy they are. And Diablo Wheel Gel is going to help me remove all the dirt and grime safely as possible. That is a lot of grime, Henry. So it's good that you're doing it the safe way. You definitely don't want to scratch your rims, right, Nick? That's right. And it looks like Joe has already moved on to cleaning the face of the wheel. Yeah, man. I'm okay. on it, Nick. He's, He's already here cleaning every single part of this wheel. As you can imagine, these Tesla, these Tesla wheels actually have hubcaps on them, which if you guys didn't know, you know, the owner, I'm pretty sure he hasn't cleaned these wheels in a very long time. So you can definitely tell with all the grime but I'm pretty much done with my first wheel here. Cool. So uh, he's using the Boar's Hair brush to get into the intricate de details, the uh, lug nuts and all. Hey, Joey, that's my water. Oh, oh, hey, this is cheating. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is tug of war for the water, guys. Looks like we're rinsing off wheel number one for Joey here. You can tell and all that grime that's coming off of the surface. Yeah, you can see all the, the dark, dark water coming off. Dirty, dirty water. And Henry now is uh, scrubbing his wheel. Boris hair detailing brush. I don't know if Joey took this his time to get all around the little spokes. I'm making sure I get everything because I want this W. And Henry brings up a good point because it's not just about speed. 
It's about so shine and, and efficiency. That's right. That's right. Because you will be judged at the end of this on shine. The audience who's watching right now is going to judge you hey on guys, that. Vote Team Henry right now. Drop Henry in the comments below. We're going to beat Joey today. Henry now campaigning for <laughs> his win. And uh, moving on to the second wheel, Joey is already spraying his wheel at the bottom of the first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just making sure I get this deep cleaning power because you guys already know, you guys seen the wheels, Jason. These things need it. You can tell too. The Red Rocket is doing its job. But check out that grind. Wow. My brush went from red to dark gray. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. It definitely <laughs> comes in red. It doesn't, come, it doesn't come in that color. So, um, what, what would your strategy be here, Nick? Like, I think that's a great choice. The Red Rocket is great for cleaning all types of wheel finishes. And since it has a flexible bristle as well as a flexible base, you can get into those tight crevices between the rotor or the caliper and the wheel without scratching or harming the surface. That's right. That's right. These guys are moving along nicely. Looks like Henry now uh, is using the Big Blue Stiffy. It's one of our new injection brushes that came out this year. And uh, that's really great for tires. Exactly. Tires scrubbing away old dressings, road grime, revealing a fresh bare surface, which makes it easier for new dressings to stick to the surface, giving you a longer lasting shot. You can see all the dirt coming up on Joey's side. Um, look at all that. Yeah, look at all really, that tire grime. Pretty, pretty, pretty grimy. Like yellow or brown. Like and this, this is exactly why we start with the wheels, right? Exactly. This is the filth that we were talking about. If you had washed the vehicle first and then went back to your wheels, all this will be flung back to your freshly washed and dried vehicle. Yeah, and you don't want that. You're basically doing double duty the work for yourself. Exactly. You could do the wheel second, but I mean, it, this way you definitely get the wheel, the dirt off the wheels and it's not flinging back onto your yeah, fresh. It's, it's all a process. Exactly. So it looks like Joey's using the wheelie brush now for the face of the wheel, a little rim action, while Henry is rinsing off the, uh, his tire there. Oh, looks like he's got Diablo in a ducky sprayer bottle. What does that do, Nick? So what the ducky's doing is as he squeezes the trigger, it's actually aerating the Diablo, giving it that foaming action. And that foaming action acts as a lubricant, but it's also got that same cleaning power. So it's gently removing abrasive particles of brake dust or road grime. And if you didn't know, brake dust is very corrosive. So if it was left on the surface, it could actually start to pit and deteriorate the finish of your chrome or your painted, even your OEM wheels. So it's really important to remove that stuff safely and also as often as possible. Got it. So for the people watching at home that, that have never seen this type of process before, or maybe they, they've seen those little pit marks on their, uh, exactly. their wheels, that's what bumpy. it comes from. Yeah. So you definitely want to take care of your wheels as much as possible. This time. <laughs> it's all What's in the details. on here? It looks like Joey's grabbing the hose. Is he already rinsing wheel number one or number wheel two? Number two Jason. Wow. Hey, remember, slow and steady wins the race. Jason. Slow and steady wins the race, according to Henry. And basically now we are going to flip over to Jen, who is live in the field. She's All gonna right. field some questions. We are out here. I am Jen, and I am here as the question person. So I'm watching all of your comments. Joey, we got a lot of Team Joey's. We got a lot of Team Henry's. Let's comment. Let's see who's gonna win. They're uh, rinsing down the car. Joey, with uh, what soap are you using again? What soap are you going to be using? Soap, we're going to be going with the Glossworks Auto Wash because, you know, I thought I'd just match it with the car. The soap is blue, yeah. foams up a lot, and it gives it a nice high shine, which this Tesla definitely deserves. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Let's check with Henry on this side. Henry, we're seeing a lot of comments on the Team Henry side. Nice. And I did see one good one. There was somebody that did say, hey, both Henry and Joey are winners when they're using Chemical Guys products. So I like that one. It was a little nice. Uh, you know, sportsmanship there. Henry, which soap are you going to use on the car when you get to that next stage? I'm going hydro suds. I think ceramic is the way to go. I want to add protection while I wash yes. and bring out the shine. All right. That, we're going to be able to see who's got that first round of shine. And Joey, comment right below once we get to that part. Joey's kind of wetting Henry, but let's get back to Jason and Nick. Awesome. Thanks, Jen. And um, the winner of this, basically whoever finishes first gets their choice of how they want to film up the car. So that, you know, finishing first in this first round kind of could give you an advantage based on that. I would say so, yes. Yeah, we've got both the Foam Blaster 6 and the Big Mouth Max Release Foam Cannon available for use here. Uh, whoever wins first gets to choose it. And both lay down a great layer of suds, but obviously everybody loves that thick snow foam that you get out of a foam cannon. So who knows? Oh, it looks like That's Joey's right. already However, made his move. Setting up the foam cannon could take a little bit of extra time. So the foam blaster, which is hooked up to your garden hose, this is true. might be the better way to go in this competition. All right, so Joey's, he's setting up the pressure washer. 
What, what, what is Henry up to right now? No, no, Henry's up to Possibly no good over there. It looks like he's up to no good. While Joey is now Look. filling up his max release phone cannon with his gloss works. Hydro suds. Henry is putting some hydro suds into his bucket. Now, what's the goal here, Nick, in terms of putting soap in? Like, what's the advice? So adding a few ounces to either your foam cannon, your foam gun, or your wash bucket is going to give you that lubricating power, and it's also going to give you that cleaning power so you're not scratching the surface as you wash, which is very important, especially on darker color vehicles such as the blue where it's going to show any kind of scratches. Yeah. So also working in linear motions is a pro tip so you don't induce any kind of swirl. Now the uh, foam cannon, when you hook it up to a pressure washer, can be pretty loud. So, <laughs> as you may see. I'm sure you guys can hear that in the background, but it looks like... Uh, Joey is now foaming the car. Look at the mounds of suds that comes out of that Also, thing. look at the control here. There is control. Look, he's pretty much staying on his side. It's impressive. He doesn't want to give any advantage to the component or his opponent, so he's simply foaming up his side, laying down a thick layer of that soap. And now, what, what is the soap doing here, Nick? It, it's lubricating the paint, right? It's also encapsulating and emulsifying abrasive particles, fur droppings, new water spots, and this is going to make it easier for him to just gently wipe it off. Okay, and now you don't necessarily need a pressure washer to get foam like this. Henry is now foaming his half of the car with the foam blaster, and all you need is a garden hose. Exactly, so if you don't have access to a pressure washer, you can always use the foam blaster. And look at that, it still lays down an impressive oh, amount of foam. Yeah. This is going to, again, help lubricate the surface. It's going to enhance the gloss, but it's very easy to use so that anybody can get their car looking its best. And with the quick release, you can easily rinse it right after you're done. Exactly. It just detaches right from your garden hose. Back and forth between foaming and also rinsing. We got like, a pro tip here. That looks like Henry's got the chenille microfiber wash mitt. He's putting that on. He's wow. foaming while he's wiping. Well, saving time. I mean, look at that. Saving time, but he's also lubricating. So he's making sure that wash mitt never goes dry. And uh, Joey now is putting on one of our new wash mitts, the Stranger Helpful Handy wash mitt. And look at that. This uses the function of your hand. It's got five fingers on there. So in terms of a thorough detail, you can get into some crevices and cracks. Exactly. All those intricate areas, you've got the same maneuverability that your hand would have. So basically anywhere your hand goes, you can put the Stranger. One, one big area is the uh, door handle, like underneath there. You can really get under there, get into some grills. Exactly. The grills is an important one where you get a lot of dead bugs and messes in there, and it's hard to get a watchman or a sponge in there, so that's what the strange is for, to get into those little exactly. intricate areas. Do you guys have a favorite watchman? Put it in the comments down below. We've got the chenille microfiber watchman, you've got the helpful handy, you've got the three-way. All sorts for All every type of detailing. You've got wash pads. Exactly. Exactly. These guys almost look like they're in a dead heat here. They're pretty close, yeah. And it's going to be tough to see who is actually winning until we rinse that off. At which point, we're going to take a break and answer some questions for you guys. So if you have any questions, put those down below in the comments. And Jen's going to sift through those and see if we can answer some q and That's right. You guys always have questions from the YouTube videos as well as all our posts. So be sure to drop your comments down below for anything that we're showing you here today. Oh, dirt. Anything oh, my gosh. Else? Henry is now displaying the dirt on his microfiber wash mitt. Now, to be safe here, you don't want to put that back on the car. So he's dunking it in his rinse bucket, which has a dirt trap underneath, right, Nick? Correct. So what that's doing is, as he's rubbing the face of the dirt trap with his wash mitt, that's actually forcing the grime underneath those cones. And that's going to keep it from returning back to the vehicle. And it also keeps it out of the water, or at least the fresh water, so that it's not being brought back to the car. Exactly. You can see Joey is uh, wiping down the side panel of the car there with the stranger, doing a great job. He's starting from top to bottom using linear motions. You want to avoid uh, circular or swirling motions because that could potentially install marks on your car. Exactly. You can also use working in layers. So from top to bottom, it's also leaving the lower portion for last. I saw he flipped his stranger yeah. over to use a fresh side. And it looks like uh, Henry is squeegeeing his uh, watchman into Joey's section there. I don't know if okay, this is a foul or something, I but like I think we'll let it right pass. <laughs> okay. So once you... Uh, remove all the dirty water from your mitt, you can go back to your clean soapy bucket and pick some more up, which is what Henry is doing right now. Correct. Looks like he's doing a great job. He's getting close to getting done also. Looks like he's getting ready to rinse. No, okay. Yeah, totally. And now it looks like uh, we're gonna rinse off the car. I think these guys are almost done with their scrubbing. So to give them a fair advantage, uh, who, who came out first here? Looks like, uh, I think Henry might've finished first. That's what it looks so like to me. Jen is out there on the field. She's gonna let us know what's going on real quick. All right, so I am back, and I have a question, Joey. You gotta give us 
I'm going to give you a little challenge in between this. What is your top tip on washing the car? Washing the tip. car. Top on the tip. wash process, what is the tip you're going to give them? Honestly, you cannot go wrong with a little too extra foam. Having a foam cannon, foam blaster, it's the best way to wash, safest way to wash, and the only way you should wash. Sorry, John, I've got foam all over you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Now, Henry, your turn. What is the top tip? Two bucket method, two dirt traps. Avoid right. scratches and swirls. Do you foam is good, but protection and safety is better. Oh, did you oh. see that? I kind of took away some of their time right now, but they are still racing. Now, Joey's getting his next thing. Drop down any comments down below that you guys want us to answer. Joey's getting back on the phone, so Jason and Nick. Looks like these guys are in a neck and neck heat over here. They is are. Henry rinsing Joey's side? What's happening? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. This is this is craziness. It's getting chaos. But you can start to see the shine being revealed underneath this Tesla. It is a beautiful blue shade. A very deep blue, and it's also looking a lot better than it did earlier. Absolutely. So these guys are in a neck and neck heat. <laughs> About to have a water gun fight here in a minute. They might be spraying each other. I don't know. Looks good. Looks good. Now the pressure washer might be a little quicker in terms of getting the soap off of the car, but the garden hose just does a, just as good a job. Exactly. Yeah, you're still getting all that same great cleaning power with it. Uh, you may get a little more pressure exactly from your pressure washer for those deep and stubborn grime, but hey, you can still do great with the foam blaster. Now, if this was you, Nick. Uh, talk to me about strategy here. Like, what, what would you have done in this situation? Would you have gone with the foam blaster or the cannon? Or? I love them both, but I, I think Henry's got the right idea with going with the foam blaster. It's a lot easier to use. And also, if you don't have a pressure washer, this is going to be the best option for you. And That's I can, true. Henry is still instigating by spraying Joey's side. <laughs> Looks good. Now, we're also using deionized water, so right. water spots aren't really too much of an issue here. Um, although you do want to dry the car pretty quickly after the rinsing. Exactly. Even with deionized water, you still have the potential of getting water spots. So that's why it's important to go right into the drying process after you're done rinsing. That's right. Henry's being extra thorough. And Joey's jumping right into the dry process. Uh, he's spraying some afterwash. Can you tell us a little bit about that product, Nick? Afterwash is great for enhancing your drying process. What this is doing is as he sprays, it's actually releasing the water tension between the droplets and the surface of the vehicle. And then when he comes back with his towel he's got less water to dry because those water spots are actually running off of the surface awesome and he's using the woolly mammoth towel now to dry the vehicle henry is uh mia i don't know where he, where he might be might be taking a break Who knows? might be taking a break it might be a lot for him oh no he's got the pro blow so on henry's side he's uh he's using one of our new products the pro blow that this is a portable uh air dryer or a handheld rather and that's dryer. great for getting the water out of those tight crevices as well as grills and door jams where as we drive away, we have that little runoff and oh, it looks yeah. atrocious. So this is great for getting all that stuff out of there before you go driving off. That's like one of my biggest pet peeves is you, you fully dry your car and then you get that little drip from your mirror, you know, that little like runoff. Streaks down. That comes down from your, just the side of your mirror. You guys get that too, right? Yeah, you close your door. What for are, some reason, it's been hiding inside of the mirror. Yeah, exactly. What are some of your areas that water drops off, off your car that are pet peeves for you guys? The Pro Blow is going to handle that for us, so that, that'll get into those little grooves, basically. Exactly. It'd be great to see which one actually comes out faster. It's also a better option in terms of a touch-free wash. So That's if you're true, yeah. a mobile detailer or you just want to prevent any type of touching your car at all, the Pro Blow is going to get to get that job exactly. done. Exactly. When you're well. working with sensitive surfaces, this is perfect for the touch-free. Let's check in uh, with Henry real quick. Henry, uh, what's going on here? What? Wow, well, everything. But I'm seeing Joey has far much more done than me. So I'm bringing out the secret weapon. First off, I'm gonna go with the waffle weave drying towel. As always, rip off the tags so you can avoid scratches and swirls. Pro so tip. now I'll place it, I'll drag it, and then Joey is going to forget to get into the tight cracks and crevices. So that's when the probe is gonna come back out. Okay, okay. So there's a strategy here at the end game where Henry is anticipating that there's gonna be some drip off with uh, Joey over here. <laughs> so he's going to have to uh, compete with that. Not to mention, I'm pretty sure the shine phase is coming up next. This is what's coming up right after the drying process. Assuming you were doing this competition, Nick, what, what would you do next? Like trim? Would you do tires? Like That's a good question. And that, it really is up to you. So for me, I probably would do the tires last. We would go over the trim protection, and then we'd go on to tires, and maybe do our glass cleaning last, because that's a pet peeve of mine, is having streaky or messy glass yeah. so that'd be my final step i guess uh through the detailing order here the potential for getting 
dirt on back onto your car from other areas is high on the glass, right? Exactly. So you do that last. Makes sense. Clarity is important. It looks like Joey is already moving on to that process. He's got the uh, Instawax, so he's applying that with a microfiber applicator. That's the best way to do it, rather than spraying it onto the surface. Even though it is sprayable, we recommend using an applicator still to spread out a very fine coat. This controls overspray, so you're not getting messes and crevices, but also you're getting the best overall protection. Nice. Even protection. Have you guys used Instawax at home? Answer yes in the comments below if you love Instawax. Sounds like uh, Henry is now blow drying his front end here. Phrasing. <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> Hitting the headlights. And uh, it's looking pretty good. The shine is nice. But specifically for these types of uh, trim dressings and coatings and stuff, you really want the surface to be completely dry, right? Exactly. That's what's going to give you the most longevity is by thoroughly drying the surface before you put on your dressing and then coming back with a clean towel and wipe off any of the excess. This gives you the longest lasting protection and that best bond. Absolutely. Uh, Joey, how you doing back there? What's going on? What's going through your mind? I'm in a, I'm in a, <laughs> there's a twister back here. Henry's spraying me with the Pro Blow. So it's pretty loud by Joey. I don't, I don't know. know if that's against the rules. If it is, I would like him to be docked at any point, please. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Joey is competing with a uh, noise violation as well as uh, the application process. <laughs> Henry seems to be toying with him with the sounds here which is very funny. And, but also uh, Henry needs to keep in mind that he still has to protect this vehicle, so. That's right, he's running out of time because Joey's basically- By being too meticulous right. may hurt him in the long run. It might, this is a speed competition in addition to a shine competition. Exactly, so, so technique go, is important, but also being thorough and That's getting right. it done. Oh, speaking of speed <laughs> in a competition, well, we'll see what's going on in a minute here. It looks like uh, Henry just picked up a bottle. Yep, yep. Looks like he's got a bottle here of Hydro Speed. It's a great quick detail spray. Hydro Speed, huh, Henry? Yeah. Why is it a great detail spray? It is a speed race, spray. Joey, obviously. Yeah, but it's also a shine race as well, so don't Hydro forget. Hydro Speed is a quick detail that it has ceramic. It's going to activate hyperactive water beating, and it's going to give you protection. Wow. So look, it's getting ugly out there. You're spraying onto an applicator. All I go to the surface, spray, 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 and all I do is wipe. Tell me more as I uh, beat you in this race. <laughs> Drop Please. Team Henry down below because we're going to win. All right, Henry sure? thinks he's going to win here. There's some trash talking, but Love Henry, the confidence. Henry brings up a good point, though. Hydro Speed is an amazing product, and whether you have a ceramic coating or not, if you do, it's going to boost your ceramic coating, your existing ceramic coating. Exactly. If you don't, it's going to give you some ceramic protection right in an instant, essentially. Right? Yeah, and while also enhancing gloss, which is very important for this challenge. It's a race to shine, guys, right? So, I mean, that's exactly what you want to do is have the fastest way to shine. And ceramic coatings are definitely going to get that for you, as well as hydrophobic protection. Mm -hmm. So, it not only works on paint, it also works on your wheels, on your headlights, on your chrome. So, like this, you stay protected with one spray bottle, even your glass. But for my glass, I even have another streak weapon for Joey because he does not know what exactly what's coming towards him. Oh, what? that sounds ominous. <laughs> Joey. You okay you... over there, Joey? You need some yeah. ceramic? I don't know. You need some ceramic? I need you to waste your time so I can win. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing now, Joey? Explain your process. I am already wiping off my coat of wax, believe it or not, Jason. I'm using the Insta Wax, which if you guys don't know already, this stuff cures almost instantaneously. So as soon as you apply it, it flashes within 20 to 30 seconds, you can start wiping it off. And it gives you that deep, brilliant Carnuba shine. And it also has sealant in it. So not only do you get that amazing shine, but you get that amazing protection as well. And man, is that car shining. I can mm -hmm. see the reflection right now. <laughs> Looks great. And Joey brings up a good point, which is that, you know, there's Carnuba wax in Insta Wax, right? So this it hazes up. Yeah. That's what's gonna keep you that protection cool. as well. And um, I think what we're going to do now is check in with Jen again. So we're, let's go live to Jen in the fields. Jen, what do you got All for right, us? All right, I am back, and it looks like we're kind of caught up. Joey was ahead of the game there. He is now removing his Instawax. And Henry, what are we applying? Hydro Speed. Ooh, Hydro Speed. All right, so we have some questions from you guys, some Q&As. So while you guys are working, I'm going to take your time, uh, your attention and time off of that so that you can answer some questions. So. Joey, one of the questions is, if I have some scratches on the car, what should I be doing to remove those light scratches? Well, it really all depends on, you know, how much time and effort you want to put into the car, Jen. I mean, one of the most easiest things you can do is apply a glaze, um, depending on the color of your car. You know, if you have a black car, black light is an amazing product to go with. If you do want to do the full nine yards, then I would recommend 
washing it, cleaning it, polishing it, and giving it the full shebang. Yeah, so on that note, we did talk about clay bar and polishing. We are not doing that on this uh, live because it would have been a lot longer, but we do recommend that you clay the surface. Uh, clay is going to remove any contaminants on the paint, make it smooth like glass, and then uh, polishing is going to remove any scratches or swirls. So Henry, the question that we have for you is, Sometimes when I am using hard water okay. or water when I'm washing the car, I end up with some water spots. What should I use to remove that? So it all depends how deep your water spots are. If your water spots are very superficial, it's always the best way to go with a heavy-duty water spot remover gel. So it's a, it's, a, it's a gel that all you're going to do is rub it on. You can get a water, quick detail spray, spray it back on. You're going to remove it, and that should remove all the alkaline or calcium that's built up onto your paint, your glass, your chrome, or even your wheels. But on the other hand, how Joey says, it all depends how deep they are. Yep. If they're super deep, that's when we recommend going with like a polish, a compound C4, P4, and that should help you get them all out. And now that's the great point, guys. We have so many products that are tailored toward, toward you and your problems and your issues and things that you have on your car that you need to address. And that's why we have tons of YouTube videos. We are constantly on here on Instagram, on Facebook, on all of our channels, just trying to answer those questions. And so these questions for us are great. We love to answer your questions and we love to make videos. So if your questions aren't getting answered right now during this live, we are taking those back and we'll make some videos and awesome great content for you. Back to Joey, uh, no, back to Nick and Jason. Thanks, Jen. And uh, they're doing a great job, these guys. They're, they're definitely being thorough. You can see Henry right now is working on the, uh, the wheels, the rims, definitely making sure every piece of that car is ceramic coated. Looks ceramic coated. Yeah, he's, he's the king of ceramic over here he's today. Definitely trying to make sure that car looks its best. Yeah, Joey really went with all the ceramics, huh? He went with Hydro Suds, he's got Hydro Speed. I wonder what he's going to pull out for his glass. <laughs> Hints, hints. A little foreshadowing, maybe. Yeah. And uh, let's try the wheels. Hey, Jason, how's the comments looking? Team Henry all the way? Team Henry all the way. I mean, I don't know. It seems like a 50 50 split to me. I don't know. I think definitely one of them will win. <laughs> I, you think so? <laughs> I mean, they might both be losers. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not losers. They're winners in our hearts for sure. But <laughs> there has to be one winner and one loser. And just like in Squid Games, <laughs> one may not make it out alive. No, they'll both think it out loud. We'll, 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 we'll be nice to them, sort of. You guys will pick the winner at the end, so hopefully you're paying attention here. Let's see what else we got going on here. Okay, looks like Joey. Hey, Joey. Yes. Here. here. What? Here. Trash talking. I don't need that here, stuff. Here, here, here. Take it, take it. <laughs> it's okay, Henry. I got a secret tool of my own. that Joey's maintained a smile the entire time. That's right. I have a secret. Kill them with, with kindness. Look, I have them all covered up for you, for you so you won't see them. <laughs> Next up is glass. All right, so we're going to do tires last because tires need to dry. I don't want to plug in the pro blow again. So cleaning your vehicle. We're going to be going with Hydro-V. Hydro-V Hydro is a ceramic glass cleaner that is made easy. It's a cleaner and ceramic all in one. With my red waffle wheat towel, as always, remove the tags to avoid scratching and swirls. Yes, glass can also scratch. So just remove it, put the tag off to the side, and now you have a pretty big towel. So pro tip, fold them up just in case you don't have two towels because unfortunately I forgot mine. Joey, can you pass me one? No. Not you see? Gonna, not going to do that. <laughs> okay, so he doesn't want to pass me one, so I'm just folding here. it. And on one side, I'll use to clean it, and on the other side, I'll use to buff it. So I sprayed it, I'll wipe in one direction, and then I'll flip it over to a clean side and just buff it off. And like that, simple as that, my glass, or this glass, I should say, is now ceramic coated. Wow, that's a cool story, Henry. You should write a book about it. You want to hear about it? Yeah. So, ceramic. <laughs> We're, we don't want to hear your stories here, Henry. All right. <laughs> Back to the competition. Guys, let's put more votes in the comments here. Who's winning here? Is it Team Joey? Joey? Like, Joey, I think Henry is uh, just dominating this competition. Yeah, he might be pulling comments. away a little bit. We need some more votes for Joey here. Who loves Joey? It's looking much better than the right side. I can tell you that for you sure what, from Joey? this angle. I vote for you. Just kidding. <laughs> So it looks like uh, Joey is definitely taking care of the back end of this vehicle. He's making sure no stone is left unturned and uh, making sure the entire vehicle is fully covered and coated. Henry, the ceramic king over Man, here. You keep spraying on my side. <laughs> you want more? No. You sure? Yes. I can spray more if you want. I know your side needs ceramic. Or I no, mean my side looks great with this, all this carnauba that's on here. That's right. Remember, so, Henry, remember your roots. Before ceramic, it was carnauba, right? Well, guess what? What? Remember your roots. And ceramic what are those? Is new. 
while these guys talk about roots and trees and all kinds of crazy things, we're gonna get back to business here. So obviously both products give it amazing shine, but they're a little different in how they work, right? Exactly, Nick? yeah. So like Hydro Speed, the ceramics, what kind of shine does that give off? So that's gonna give you that glossier effect while you use a, or on the other hand, we're using a, a sealant or a wax is gonna give you that warmer shine. That's what it gives that more, more gotcha. natural look. So one is not necessarily better than the other. They're just kind of personal preference in terms of the look of your shine. Exactly. So uh, Joey's going to end up with a warmer glow because he's using a Carnuba-based product versus uh, Henry, who had the ceramic shine. And man, look, you can see the reflection of Joey right in there. Get an applicator for me, but it's fine. I have a microfiber applicator. It's okay. Trying to take me down to... <laughs> Henry pulling off the tag of the microfiber applicator here at the bottom that, of the 10th. <laughs> Wait, I need to blow off my tab, my tire. What are you doing, Henry? I need to apply tire shine, but Joey mm. hit one of my applicators, but... <laughs> Little did he know, quick pro tip, microfiber applicators can also be used on your tires. So we saw Henry grab Blue Guard earlier. But um, I'm assuming that's what he's going to use to shine up his tires. And in order to do so, that's a um, oil-based dressing, if I'm not mistaken, right, Nick? Correct. So he's going to make sure that surface is nice and dry before he puts on that oil base. This way it penetrates and it'll last. Nice. The tire is clean, so if I rub it, it's clean. It's not dirty whatsoever. Oh, I got some on about now he's uh, blowing the rims there, phrasing, uh, and uh, definitely drying up that tire because you're going to get the best bond possible when your tire is completely dry, and that way your blue guard, your protectant, will stay and last as long as possible. So gently uh, rubbing the tire here. Oh, What's the technique here, Nick? Sensual, are we? Yeah. Simply apply it in the same fashion you would with any kind of dressing. You just want to either dab it out or start working into the surface. You give it a moment to bond and then come back with a clean microfiber towel and wipe off the excess. Exactly, exactly. And uh, I don't know about you, Henry, but I'm looking like I'm pretty much done on this side. Uh -oh. You're already Henry's done. Some trash. Yeah, man. Uh oh. Looks like Joey's almost done, is what he's saying. And basically. So you better speed it up. Got to speed up this competition. Who do you guys think is going to win here? Put them in the comments. We're getting close to the end here. And if you're still with us, there's definitely some prizes coming up at the end for you guys. So definitely stick with us for the rest of this. Almost done with this competition. Yeah. What do you think so far? A little What's bit. What's going on? Very long way. We would love to see those comments. So be sure to drop them down below with any kind of questions or anything else you guys want to talk about. That's right. Looks like uh, Looks Joey like now is winning. Applying oh, VRP Harry, to his tire, that there. is a water-based dressing. Huh? Correct, so that's going to be the so same method of you know, application where you just simply dab it out and work it in, wipe off any excess, but this is going to give you that more natural look, as well as being dry to the touch. That's right. Any reason you chose uh, VRP, Joey? Uh, I just wanted to give it an uh, original look. I didn't really want to give it nothing like a deep, wet, crazy, greasy shine or anything like that. Like, I love VRP because it lives a nice, crisp, high shine. So for those of you guys out there that love that crisp shine on the interior or the exterior ride, VRP is a great product to go with because you can actually use it on vinyl, rubber, and plastic, hence VRP inside and outside your ride. Nice. So it's not just for tires. Yeah. You can use it all over the place. And also got on this rear trim, which I don't know if Henry did. Oh. No, he did not. Look at oh, that. Oh, no, Henry. I am not done. <laughs> Henry's not done, though, which could be an issue for him winning this competition. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Nick? I think that uh, both guys are doing great. You can see the years of experience that comes from both of them. It's I true. just want to throw it out there. Who do you think they learned it from? Oh, yeah. Who do you think they learned this stuff from? Huh? <laughs> who, who do you guys learn from? I mean, we're so happy that you're participating in this. Whether you're a complete newbie to detailing, whether you do this for a hobby, or whether you developed an entire business on detailing. I mean, we're here for you guys. And exactly. There are many facets of being a detailer or even a detailing enthusiast. So it's great to see all of you guys tuning in. But be sure to drop your comments as well as polling who you think is going to win this competition. That's right. They're almost done. It looks like uh, Henry or uh, Joey, rather, is putting the final touches on his glass. And Here's a pro tip. Lift that wiper blade. Get all the grime and mess from underneath there, the water Absolutely. droplets. Look at that. You can see right through. So uh, basically, we're, come, we're heading to the end here. We're going to head over to Jen and see what she's got going on right now. Thank and you. All right, I am back, and I am here to tell you guys you have one minute left. What? So this is your final minute to give it that last-minute touch. Oh, putting some water on Joey's side. Okay, 
throw it over. You guys, we have some fun surprises for you at this ending. Uh, so keep commenting. I don't know, you guys, there's a lot of votes coming in. If you're on YouTube, go ahead on that poll, on Facebook and on Instagram, start commenting. Who do you think is going to win this? All right, Jason and he uh, Nick. We head into the final minute of this competition. I don't know. We got a lot it's going on here. Neck and neck. They're both fighting to get to the end here. But as this train is pulling into the station, it's really going to show who really did a better job. Yeah, we can see. It, I mean, speed-wise, it looks like they're kind of on pace here. Yeah, we thought that Joey was ahead and then Henry pulled ahead. And now they seem to be at the same ending process. It's been a wild ride, folks. <laughs> it's been a wild detail. Now they're, they're ride. fighting over the bumper. What's going on here? I don't know. They're uh, competing on sides. I, I can't tell which side is shinier, Nick. All right. I'm Jason, done. don't be silly. You already know that my side's much oh, shinier. Huh? Henry's done. Henry has called it. He's finished. He's right, the first to complete Walk. the competition. Check now, this out. Now, let's take a check look with his oh. camera, how his shine looks. All right, to start off with, let's give you a quick rundown. I went fully ceramic. I started off with a foam blaster. Joey thought the foam can would be a great idea. I added two ounces of hydro suds, but just check out the amazing glossy finish that hydro suds gave to this but keep this in mind hydro suds is a ceramic infused soap that one is adding protection while you wash after that i thought about it give it a cherry on top joey went with insta wax i went with hydro speed hydro speed is a ceramic quick detailer so all i did was spray wipe and just check out this amazing shine Look, I couldn't even see myself. I could see you guys. <laughs> Check out how beautiful this shine is. And then after that, we topped it off with Hydro Glass. So I went with the full Hydro Line. Basically, Hydro Line made ceramic easy. So anybody, professionals, enthusiasts, weekend warriors, can make their car look amazing at any given time. And finally, I cleaned up these beautiful wheels using Diablo Wheel Gel, scrubbed down the tire with All Clean, and then I redressed the tire with Blue Guard. So Joey was saying, Blue Guard is too high shine. So what I did, I applied a very thin coat and it gave me this natural look as well. So if this car drives off, it's not going to splatter all over the surface of this car. All right, Henry, well, nice recap, whatever. <laughs> so on my side, I decided to go with the Foam Cannon because who doesn't love the Foam Cannon? If you guys love Foam Cannon, you guys already have to know both Team Joey because of, you know, Foam cannon. <laughs> so then we washed it with the Glossworks soap. We give it a nice deep cleaning. And I don't know if you guys paid attention, but Henry, think, he thought he was smart. He thought because he would get his hydro suds on my side, it was going to ruin mine. But I actually got some of those hydrophobic pro properties from that soap. So I got some nice beating action, which the woolly mammoths soaked right up. So I also accompanied that with the afterwash, even though I didn't need it. But it did, it did an amazing job. It looks great. And honestly, I think mine is looking did much better. Not yet. I have water. <laughs> what about it? <laughs> what are you going to do with that? Spray me? <laughs> the wheels, we gave it some touch. We gave it a nice little VRP coat. As you guys can see, the tires look nice. They look clean. They look crisp. They look brand spanking new. The windows as well. I don't know if you guys paid attention, but I actually applied Insta Wax to the windows as well to give it that wax shine and the ceiling protection as well. So not only did I use it on the paint, but practically any smooth, glossy surface on my side. All right. Good well, explanation, Joey. Yeah. And Henry. And Henry. So Henry finished up first, speed-wise. But who has the better shine? We're going to put a poll up right now so you guys can vote. Who has the better shine? Was it Henry? Was it Joey? What do you think about this competition? What do you think? I think that they both did a great job. I mean, again, they both put their best detailing efforts forward. And we're not going to really know which is going to be the best shine until we actually take a look at the vehicle. But you guys that were watching definitely saw the technique. Yeah, you the saw calls the, are coming in. Yeah. I mean, we got the, the whole toll free number down below here. That's right. Calls are coming in. The winner will be announced in a minute. But first, we're going to have Jen pop in and uh, give us a little bit more information here about what's going on. Hi, Jen. Hi, guys. So I'm on this side now because I have some exciting stuff for you guys. We told you in the beginning that we had some stuff just for you that are watching. So let's start off, I guess. I'm going to start with maybe, I don't know. What do you think, guys? Which one should know. I start with? I don't know. All right. Well, I am going to start with, we have a deal going on the we website. Got a deal. And you guys are getting it first. So there is 20% off chemicals. Don't leave yet, though, because the ending to this is amazing. And it's probably 
going to be the best part of this whole hour? You guys are dictating the fate of the loser yeah. of this competition. Yeah. So yeah. all of those live. comments are really making an impact. But 20% off chemicals is going on on our website That's right. today. So after this is uh, done, then you can head over to our website. You can shop a lot of these new products that we showed you today and all the products they were using. Uh, all those chemicals will be 20% off. But because you guys were here on our first live and you stuck around and supported us. That's right. Jason, do you want to grab that product? Yeah, absolutely. We got a limited edition product for you guys. Limited edition what snow you... foam in blueberry scent. So we have a blueberry limited edition snow foam auto wash. And this is <laughs> going to go out to all of you guys. So this is how you can get it. So when you are done watching this, again, don't leave because you don't <laughs> want to miss it. Uh, you'll visit our website. There is a link. Uh, you right will here. see that pop up. If you visit that website, put your email in, we'll send you a coupon code, and you will get this for free on your next order on our website. That's right. That's it. You well, guys get it for free. And this isn't even launched yet. Nobody true. has the ability to get this. So you get Blueberry Snow Foam before anybody else, and you get it for free because you came and supported us during our CG Live. And it's a limited edition. I mean, yeah. this could go up on your shelf as like a prize a collector's collectible item. item. Who knows? It smells amazing. It smells really good. Yeah. And not to mention, when you sign up at the link here, you will also get early access to some of our drops coming up. Exactly, all that exclusive content. Yeah. Exclusivity, guys. Thank you Thanks. so much for joining us. So now we've got the polls coming in. Do we have results on that? Oh, Am they've I been kind of right close. They've been close. Huh? I don't know if we should tell them, but Henry was leading for a little while and then it just kind of came in. But I just want to tell you, you guys have decided the fate. And we don't have the winner yet. Well, you're going to announce it out there, but I'm going to tell you what happens to the loser. Jen's going to tell us. And what happens to the, the winner. The cat is coming out of the bag. Uh oh, here we go. Are you guys ready? Can you guess? I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm also a little, oh, poor guy. All right. So the winner of this will be holding a foam cannon. The loser, the loser is going to. I think Jen is actually going to be holding the foam cannon. The loser is actually gonna get foamed. <laughs> the loser's gonna okay, so By this me. is in this is actually. Unfortunately in, so. it's me. So. Okay, Jen is gonna be the one foaming, and it sounds like the results are in, and <sighs> Joey, unfortunately, is the loser. Lost the competition to Henry. No! We've got them set up in the wash bay here. We've got safety goggles on. I'm gonna put gonna down my mic. I'm this. getting them the stuff, and I'm heading over. Let me get my safety goggles, and I got him a mask. So Jen is now going to walk over to the bay while we uh, prep this. We're, we're going to be very safe in this, but one of these guys is going to get What do you think's going through their mind right now? They have a, a firing it, wall behind them is, and they got goggles on. What could be going Henry on Is Henry going to get foamed in solidarity here? I don't even know what's going on here. He, Henry won. Yeah, he seems to want it, though. Thank you guys for voting, by the way. The, you just uh, sealed Joey's foam blast. <laughs> Looks like we're going to set them up. It's going to take another second. But what do you guys think so far of this live? Should we do more of these? Uh, actually, to tell you, we've got another one of these coming up tomorrow at the same time at 12 p.m. Exactly. Pacific so be time. sure to check back. Same time, same channel. Absolutely. Uh, we've got some more exciting stuff for you tomorrow as well. But right now, we're going to get prepped up for this foam blaster. It's not going to be a blaster. I think we're going to foam cannon them. Do they know what's happening? I don't even know if they know what's happening. They might, but we're going to go back and to Jen And we are quick. over here, and we're breaking the news to there, the loser. Maybe not. Jen, are you there? Joey, you lost. I'm so sorry. Oh, Henry, Henry, Henry was leading the way. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh, I would love this mic. Thank you so much, everyone, for voting for me. You guys will enjoy what's going to happen to Joey. Jen, take it away. Joey, do you have any final words? Because unfortunately, I'm the one foaming you. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I guess we're going so take your other goggles. I will try to avoid the face. Any final words before you get foamed? This is heartbreaking, but I'm super excited to be a good sport. Henry, congratulations on this win. I guess ceramic is the way to go, but enjoy. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm coming to get the foam cannon and hand off my mic. We're gonna protect Joey's face here with the goggles and the mask. He's doing jumping jacks. He's getting ready. He's getting pumped. I think that water's cold. 
Get ready. Here we go. A nice fan foam. We don't want to blast it too hard, right? And a nice little coating. Oh, Joey. Poor Joey. And he is just getting coated by that foam blaster. By the foam cannon, the max release. Foam cannon is uh, doing its job, laying down a thick layer of suds, cleaning Joey up so he maybe he goes a little faster next time. That's definitely going to take off the rinse of particles from his skin. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching. Joey is definitely soaked. Tune in again tomorrow, 12 p.m. Pacific, on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. We're going all the way for you guys. Thanks again for joining us. Nick, you want to say anything else? I just want to say again, thanks all of you for dropping your comments as well as tuning into all of our YouTube channel videos and everything like that. We just want to say we love you guys. And thanks so much for tuning in. That's right. Make sure you go to the link below and get the uh, get your exclusive products here. And we'll see you tomorrow here at Chemical Guys Live. See you next time. So uh, that was a pretty good competition, man. I would say.